<laughs> okay, so I actually went to like a Reddit no sleep, and I got a story. Oh, it's oh, it's a little yay. bit long. Yay! <laughs> it's it's a little bit long, but here we go. Oh jeez. It is called the man in the white t-shirt. So what I'm about to write is 100% true, and based on my own life experiences, I've had three encounters with the man in the white shirt. It happened in the span of six years, and each one more haunting than the last. I don't know why, but he wanted to get close, and there's no doubt in my mind his intentions are bad. I grew up on a farm in rural western PA, a small town with not much happening about 45 minutes outside of Pittsburgh. When I was 10, my friends and I are playing capture the flag in the backyard. I remember looking for my friend, uh, uh, let's call him Nick. When I spot Nick in a white t-shirt across the yard at the edge of the forest, I frantically begin to wave him down to regroup and figure out where the flag is. Nick begins to wave me down, so I instead go to him. I'm about 50 yards out when he takes off running into the woods. I followed after him. Now we are on the tractor trail, so it's relatively straight but very brushy as my dad hadn't mowed it yet that spring. I see Nick up ahead maybe 30, 40 yards waving me into a thick pine forest. I round the corner and begin to chase him, thinking he must know where the flag is. The pines are tall and they descended down a steep slope. Even though this was midway or midday and it, it was a very dark in the part of the forest. Ah, oh, I can't speak. As I approach the creek bed at the bottom, I hear Nick calling me. Only his voice is coming from behind me. Or only his voice is coming from behind me. I turn around and see Nick at the top of the hill, standing at the edge of the pine trees, except he isn't wearing a white t-shirt. I got chills as I turned around and saw the man I thought was Nick, standing maybe 20 yards away and inching me towards him. His mouth opened slightly as if he was about to tell me something, but I was too terrified to stick around and hear what he had to say. It was in this moment I got a feeling that he wasn't a man. Of course, he just looked like a scruffy guy in his 20s wearing a plain white t-shirt, but he felt like something different. I began dashing up the hill, my legs rocking like pillars of jelly beneath my body, though I can't hear anything over the pounding of my heart and a ringing in my ear. I knew he was right behind me. This is how I know I'm not crazy. When I realized, or when I reached the top, Nick was screaming. Whatever that thing masquerading as a man behind me was, he couldn't, he could see it as well. We both dashed for the field and my house and somehow seemingly were not followed i don't know what he wanted from me that day i don't know why he led me into the dark secluded depths but it wasn't the last time i saw him and it wasn't the closest he would get though i don't have proof it was him my house was robbed a week later for the first and only time and i always suspected the man in the white t-shirt was behind it the house was torn apart but not much had been taken just a guitar and some dvds I told the police about what happened a week before, but they didn't seem to believe me, or they didn't seem to care. I'll never know which. That's it. No. Nick, what the fuck Who are you was getting the up man to on the, in the white t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, Who man, was the man in the white t-shirt? Well, I don't want to be that guy, but yeah, you'll see that I'm currently wearing a white t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently in a white t-shirt too. This is... <laughs> Uh, uh, you see, I'm not. I'm wearing a green one. Oh. Oh. So who was the man in the white t-shirt, huh? Who was the man in the white t-shirt? Oh boy. Oh. That was a... Mm. Jesus. <laughs>